morning and welcome to another edition of ClinCheck Theater Thursday. I am your host, Dr. David Galler, and today we have kind of a fun little ClinCheck nuance to show you. This is a refinement, and we're doing a little bit of touch-up here. And in the initial ClinCheck, we kind of pick up an old glitch friend that I've talked about before, and I want you to kind of visualize it. Right now, the canine here is a perfectly canine-guided occlusion. That canine is in perfect position, but sometimes either the program or... Uh, technicians, sometimes they like to just do a little bit of extrusion of that canine. See how that canine's kind of sliding down the lower canine angulation? That is not a good movement. That is not something that we're looking for. That's a canine moving below the occlusal plane. That's going to cause an interference and pretty much destroy the very nice canine guided occlusion that is happening there. So very often, you've heard me say before, be very, very wary of unnecessary canine extrusions. It's very subtle. Now, number one, that movement's hard to do, so we might not even see it happen, and that tray not fitting because that movement didn't happen endangers the entire case. So be real, real careful about those canines just kind of sliding down. Now, here's the rub. So I write back, remove extrusion of number six and an 11, and they send me back a new clin check. But watch the new clin check that they send me back. Keep an eye on those things. All I want to do is those canines just to stay where they are. I don't want those canines going down at all. There's no reason for those canines to go down at all. But watch what they do. They go down and then they come up. So if I wasn't paying attention, if I just went like this, I'd be like, oh, very good. The canines didn't extrude. Very nice. That's exactly what I wanted, the canines. But if you watch it, they go all the way down and then bounce all the way up. So that is obviously called the bouncing canine and the bouncing movement, and we don't want to do that at all. The whole idea is we didn't want the end result, and there's no reason for our canines to take a little trip like that. So that's going to go right back to the technician and say, please remove that extrusion movement, not just the end result. Thanks very much. This has been a fun ClinCheck Theater Thursday, and I am your host, Dr. David Galler.